hi welcome to my channel today we are going to paint uh, what looks like a very difficult bird a peacock but we'll try to make it easy let's see the colors here we have used a bit of uh, cerulean blue ultramarine blue and i have mixed both of those to create a brighter blue a viridian green and some sap green and any brown which you have also I have taken a bit of purple let's see the first wash here I have just uh, wet the front part of the peacock which is in purple and green and blue and you can also wet the area behind the uh, behind the plumage so what he the peacock has on his head, head we call it as a plumage so here i am giving a bit of underwash of purple and then the new blue which we have mixed i am just putting that blue in good amount on the front or the breast part of the peacock i have used a six number brush here you can also paint it with a four number brush The sides of the paper is around 8 inch into 8 inch. You can also replicate it on a bigger paper. Here I am just dropping some of the blue colors. In between I have dropped some purple on the top of the uh, body part and also some green on the top of the body. Where you can see in the reference picture there is a light green area on the top. Similarly I have wetted the second half and then there we have given a light viridian green wash I have tried to simplify it a bit because peacock has a very complex body structure or the colors in the feathers here I am dropping some more blue in the darker part just make sure the colors are merging with each other and they are not uh, standing out I'm dropping more of ultramarine blue to the side of the body and uh, towards the neck also if you notice I have already uh, covered the white part with some masking fluid already where you can see white in the reference I have blocked that so that we have a clear and crisp uh, outline of the uh, marks on the face so for the head or the uh, head part of the peacock we have used here viridian green and the blue mix make sure you are leaving a bit of gap to suggest the highlight of the um, head and of the neck as you can see we have two white marks so that is very important here i have taken a bit of tissue paper and then we have dabbed some of marks on the body to create some highlights and same I have done on the top of the uh, body also we'll try to merge some of the brown color on the side feathers and also we'll try to use that same color on the uh, background so if you can see I have also painted the background with the same brown color because later we are going to highlight these feathers into a much darker brown we will give some details here I have just given a very light wash same brown in bit more consistency I am using in the the dark brown area which you see in the end of the body or below the tail there we have used the dark brown and blue mix this blue mix is going to be showing up later when we give the highlights so once your uh, body area is completely dry i'm trying to give one more layer with the peacock blue uh, out of tube color from magello mission if you do not have this color you can mix any blue and viridian green so i'm trying to give some highlight there So here we are adding some more texture I have switched to a number 2 brush so here I am giving some texture to the head 
you can zoom in and see that we are trying to make some small circles on the body if you zoom in into the reference photo you will see it is a bit of rough surface on the head of the peacock I'm dropping some more darker color uh, below his uh, head because later it is going to get dry we are also pulling some of the details of the uh, body uh, plumage here but uh, do not do it too much just pull a little bit of details as you can see in the reference photo it is too much detailed but uh, we are not trying to get here all the details we are trying to get the right values of the color and also we are trying to get the right shadows so I have just used a little bit of texture of the feathers and that's it so once we have painted those textures with a damp brush I am just merging that with the uh, initial layer which we painted so that they don't stand out and look like they are drawn with a blue pen here I am doing the same thing with the ultramarine blue but with a bit more um, broader strokes I have done the same thing here I am just painting some strokes and then one end of those strokes I am merging with the damp brush as you can see here that gives a more softer look for the feathers If you want to make it more detailed, you can also uh, paint exactly like the reference photo. But I have tried to give it some variation here. Similarly, for the lower body part also, we are just making some marks of sap green mixed with viridian. And then similarly with a damp brush, we are just merging the edges of those on one side. And one side it looks crisp edges. That's a standard way of painting feathers for any bird. same we are doing some blue highlights also on the top part of the body so here we are almost done we will uh, see how to paint the top uh, light green part so here I am I have taken the same two number brush and uh, the viridian mix viridian and green mix I have not used pure viridian uh, I think it will look very out of place so I have just mixed a bit of sap green in that and with that uh, we are just pulling some of the details on the top of the body so if you see carefully in the reference photo this part of the body is divided into two the left and the right part so we are trying to create we will try to create kind of a division in between where you can see i have not painted any of the, those lines so we'll try to paint a division with a little bit brown color later here I'm giving just some highlights so that it doesn't look uh, just like uh, somebody has drawn it with a with a pencils so here you can see there's a bit of top area on green brown so, so here you can see we are giving some of the highlights with brown now this part uh, I would suggest you to paint with whatever thin brush you can get I have painted it with two number you can use any brown dark brown you have you can use Vandaiki brown or you can mix your own brown anything is fine so the strokes are when they start they are very thin they are thicker in between and then when we are ending them they again become thin so because it was a tedious process um, I have speeded it up a bit so that we can complete it quickly so this is the same thing I'm going to replicate for the rest of the body it will take some quite a while just notice that I have taken a very light wash on the top part because I want some of the soft edges to be there with the same brown now I am started to paint the darkest part here which is the black and brown feathers long feathers so again 
um, I'm not painting exactly like the reference photo, but I have tried to depict it in a different way. So here I have removed the masking fluid, which I painted on top of the plumage and the beak part. I have used the ultramarine and the peacock blue uh, mix here. And with the same two number brush, I have again painted some more details. So here you can see the division I was talking about. So it is kind of a two parts of the uh, shoulders, two shoulders basically. So for the beak, I have used a very light wash of same Vendaiki brown. I'm just giving few highlights. I have not done too much. Uh, for the first layer of eye, I have used a very light wash of brown and later with the black, I will go, go with the highlights for the eye. So if you see this painting, there are two or three focus areas. One is the head and one is the top part of the peacock. So when we paint anything, we try to put one or two main focus areas. And the rest of the areas, we do not provide too much contrast of the colors or very detailed. So this is the bottom part. Here I have mixed a bit of uh, uh, brown with my ultramarine. I have tried to give a very dark shade here. You can skip uh, many of the portions here like you can skip the the dark strokes on the, on the Viridian green area I have given. You can skip those. Here with the zero number brush I have just put some details where I think there was a fluffy part on the tail. And now I am just putting some more small details with a damp brush i'm just trying to soften some of the edges here i'm just uh, damping out uh, some of the bottom part of the body and i'm using the same color to paint the background just a light wash we have given for the background we have not painted any fancy background for this peacock because already there is a lot of color and focus um, in the peacock itself. So for the beak again, we are going back to the beak and painting some of the uh, details. And um, I think I forgot to record the eye painting. So I have painted the eye with a very dark Bandaiki brown. And for the legs, I have not given much detail. Just with a very light mix of Vendaiki brown, I have painted the legs. I have not done too much details. So just to highlight the beak, I have given some of the blue highlight there. And I think we are towards the end of it. So if you paint it, then please post the link in the comments. Also, if you would like me to paint any specific birds, uh, mention in the comments and I'll try to incorporate that. I'll be back soon with another uh, new and interesting bird in the next video next week. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.